Fluid Recruiting homepage replaces the classic version for the recruiter, recruiting manager, and recruiting administrator. Since recruiters spend the majority of their time in the Talent Acquisition Manager, or TAM, pages, the new recruiting home gives them quick access to those most commonly used pages. The Fluid Recruiting homepage offers recruiters eight delivered tiles for system navigation. The Recruiting Manager has an additional tile containing a Recruiting Manager summary page. Many of these tiles display live data, providing high-level information for quick decision-making. The My Job Openings tile transfers you to a Fluid page displaying a searchable list of your job openings. The Personalized Filters link, the Keyword Search, and Grid Sort features assist you in drilling down quickly to find job opening information. Related analytics are readily available or you can create your own. The My Applicants tile allows you to access the Fluid page displaying a searchable list of your applicants. With functionality similar to the My Job Opening tile, you can personalize search results, sort the grid results, and run related analytics. The Recruiting Activities tile serves as a navigation collection of frequently used pages giving you a single area to manage many of your daily recruiting-related activities. The Applicant List and Today's Interview Tiles give you the flexibility to view live tile information at a glance from the home page without having to drill down. The Recruiting Alerts Tile displays a list of alerts specific to the TAM product. Configure the settings to specify the alerts that you want to receive. The Approvals tile is based on the same approvals framework that is used throughout the system. It contains all approval notifications that you are set up to receive. The Recruiting Insight tile provides you with a single dashboard view of all of your recruiting analytics. This gives you the flexibility to move between analytics without having to go to multiple tiles. As you start doing in-depth analysis, you'll want the ability to quickly look at data from different vantage points. The diversity analytics are delivered only to the recruiting administrator role due to the highly sensitive nature of the data. The recruiting manager summary tile is only for the recruiting manager role, and the summary page gives information about the manager's direct reports. The summary is based on eight benchmark metrics commonly used in the recruiting process. As the duties of the recruiter and the hiring manager are different in most organizations, a new Recruiting Activities tile is created specifically for the hiring manager. The Recruiting Activities tile transfers you to a navigation collection, which gives you quick access to several job opening-related pages and featured analytics. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Recruiting homepage and Hiring Manager Navigation Collection feature. As part of Image 26, the PeopleSoft HCM Fluid Attachments Framework supports the inclusion of attachments for the name change transaction. As before, you'll use the Personal Data Name page to enter a name change. However, now when you enter a name change request, you can also include attachments or documentation to support your request. Upload files from your device, such as document files and images. Enter a description that identifies the attachment. Include additional attachments or delete an attachment, then save your entries. When approvals are required, the name change request and any attachments will be sent to the approver for review. If approvals are not required, the information is automatically saved to the system. The approving HR administrator uses the Fluid Approvals tile to view requests for the name change transaction. The Pending Approvals Name Change page displays the details for the request. If there are attachments with the request, the page displays the Attachments Details section. Selecting this section opens the Attachments page. Select the file link to download and view an attachment prior to approving the request. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Attachments HR Core feature. In Image 26, PeopleSoft HCM delivers a new acknowledgement framework, enabling you to create configurable acknowledgements and agreements across HCM products. Created using the acknowledgement framework, 
The acknowledgement page can be added as a step within Fluid Activity Guides for various business processes in an organization. This completes our discussion of the Acknowledgement Framework feature. With Image 26, the Sensitive Data Masking feature supports the masking of national ID, date of birth, and bank account number data. Define national ID using the masking format at the national ID type level. Configure date of birth by component, masking the entire date or just the year. When masking is enabled for bank account number, only the last four digits will show. Configure roles to provide full access to these data elements for authorized users only. The Component Configuration page enables you to select the masking format and whether to hide the associated fields, such as age fields related to the birth date. Here, date of birth and national ID are hidden based on component level masking configuration and user role. This completes our discussion of the Data Privacy Enhancements Sensitive Data Masking feature. The PeopleSoft HCM application continues to enhance the data privacy delete and change processes in Image 26. Administrators can use the new Person ID Inclusion page to identify records that should be included in the Person ID Change and Person ID Delete processes. These should be records and fields that store the employee ID but are not currently considered in the processes. This completes our discussion of the Person ID Deletion and Correction feature. The new Fluid Self-Service Direct Deposit enables you to access self-service direct deposit pages using a desktop, laptop, or smartphone. Add, edit, remove, and reorder the direct deposit pages using the Fluid User Interface. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Self-Service Direct Deposit for Payroll for North America feature. In Image 26, the Employee Snapshot Fluid feature provides administrators with a comprehensive view of a person's work history and talent data. Use the Talent Administrator homepage to access the Employee Snapshot tile. Administrators can select from a list of employees recently viewed or search for and select other employees from within the organization in which the administrator has security access. Administrators will then use the employee snapshot dashboards and pages like managers. This completes our discussion of the employee snapshot for administrators feature. Managers can now use the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface to review and update their employees' profile data using the Team Talent Profile pages. These pages work the same as the Talent Profile pages available for the employee. However, managers can quickly view profile data for all their employees using the Select Different Employee link and selecting from a list of their direct reports. To access these pages, managers can open the Related Actions menu next to an employee's name, select Development, then select the Team Talent Profile menu item. Or, managers can add the new Team Talent Profile tile to any Fluid homepage. After selecting the tile, managers will choose an employee from a list of their direct reports. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Manager Self-Service Profile Management feature. The Fluid Timesheet Quick Fill feature in Image 26 enables you to use predefined combinations of values for time details on timesheets. The Quick Fill functionality can be enabled for desired work groups when the option is turned on in installation settings. On the Setup Quick Fill page, select Add to create a Quick Fill. The fields that are available will depend on the time reporting template or task group assigned to the user. Enter the Quick Fill details and save. Time reporters can select a saved quick fill from the Quick Fill Time Details drop-down to populate the pre-saved entries. 
This completes our discussion of the Fluid Timesheet Quick Fill feature. In Image 26, the Schedule Change Limit enables an administrator to update the number of days in the past that managers can schedule changes. When a manager assigns a schedule that is crossing set limits, an error message is displayed on the Assign Work Schedule page. When managing a work schedule, the limit will stop a manager from changing the schedule if the date is outside of the limit. This completes our discussion of the Schedule Change Limits for Time and Labor Self-Service feature. The Global Payroll Element Browser now easily compares a selection of elements across databases, enabling you to analyze rules changes before exporting and importing a rules package. This enhancement complements the ability to compare elements with older versions of the same element, elements with another element of the same element type, and a rules package while importing into a target database. This completes our discussion of the Global Payroll Element Browser Package Compare Enhancement. Global Payroll Self-Service now contains a consolidated navigation collection that helps employees access their payroll-related transactions using a desktop, laptop, or mobile device. Employees can view their latest pay slips, maintain their bank account and payment distribution, and view, download, and print year-end statements. This completes our discussion of the Global Payroll Self-Service Navigation Enhancements. The mobile payslip feature uses the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface to render payslip information for small form factor devices, enabling employees to view payslip information on their smartphones. As of HCM Image 26, this functionality has been implemented for the global payroll country extensions shown. This completes our discussion of mobile payslip country extension implementations. PeopleSoft Global Payroll for Australia now supports single-touch payroll, streamlining reporting between businesses and the Australian Taxation Office, or ATO. Each time you pay your employees, you'll report the tax information to the ATO from the single-touch payroll-enabled payroll solution. Once submitted, employees can view their payment information using ATO online services. Single-touch payroll reporting becomes mandatory for employers on July 1, 2018. This completes our discussion of the Single-Touch Payroll Australia feature. Fluid Approvals now enables Fluid Correct and Cancel Personnel Action Transactions. When users with the Personnel Action Correction or Personnel Action Cancellation role submit a correction or cancellation approval request, the approval request is routed to users with the Personnel Action Specialist role. When users with the Personnel Action Specialist role receive a correction or cancellation approval request, they can accept, deny, or push back the approval request. The Gender field on Personnel Action Request Components now allows users to select male or female only. Because the values are limited to federal employees, the Personal Data Component is not modified. Only Personnel Action Request Components have been modified to limit gender values to male or female. This completes our discussion of U.S. Federal HR Enhancements. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.